All right, welcome back. Have you heard our local Susan G. Cohen organization is expanding? Joining us to talk about the big move, Kate Watt, the executive director of Susan G. Cohen Florida. Congrats. Thank you. This is huge news for you guys. It's, it's great news for our state it's and for the, for the nearly 14,000 people that are diagnosed with breast cancer. It just means that we're going to be able to spread our mission and make sure that no one in the state walks the breast cancer journey alone. That is amazing. I mean, because you guys already do so much, but to expand across the state. What does that also mean for South Florida? You guys are still going to stay here though, right? We are still here. We're going to be headquartered here in West Palm Beach. It will be the same services that we've um, always provided. We'll still be offering local grants and of course we will still have our signature events including the 2019 Race for the Cure on January 26th. Oh, that's going to be right around the corner. I know so much planning goes into that because so many people like participating in that, but you guys have a lot of other events, right? So tomorrow actually is the couch to 5k yep what's uh, that so if if you're not quite ready <laughs> to run the 5k you can visit our partners at um, tri bike run up in jupiter and they're doing a couch to 5k program and they'll get you up and going and ready for the 5k portion of the race but of course if you still would like to walk you uh -huh. can always walk the race for the care i like this so this is this is like the baby step people this is this is kind of talking in my language. I like that. <laughs> and then you also another one that, of course, ladies love girls night out. That's on Thursday. Yep, we've got a girls night out at Sarah Campbell in Del Rey, and we'll have um, some drinks and light bites and shopping. And we'll have a couple of our warriors in pink women um, that really represent um, you know, the the survivor story, the breast cancer journey story will be there and they're featured at our upcoming race for the cure. That's amazing. And that's what it's about. It's about mm -hmm. those survivors and getting more survivors out there, allowing them to share their stories. Tell us a little bit more about, I mean, just overall for the mission, when, when women hear that Susan G. Komen is expanding, does that give them more hope? What have you heard from them about that? Yeah, we've definitely heard that. We've had uh, people reach out to us from all over the state who are really excited um, about the expansion of the affiliate. Um, they're really excited about the work that we're gonna be doing in advocacy and education, um, and certainly the work that we're doing um, to reduce the number of breast cancer deaths. We lose 2,700 Floridians every year to this disease, and wow. we want that to end, um, which is why we're in a fight. We're, we're in a fight every single day to end this disease, and that's why I've events like Race for the Cure are so important because they help leave local funding right here in our community to make sure that people have access to screenings, treatment, and education. Right, and then I know we're going to have you on again before this actually happens on January 26th, mm -hmm. but it's just awesome seeing the video from the previous race. This is something that so many people get on board with. Tell us a little bit more about the race coming up this year, if you can. So, well, the first thing I want to tell everyone is I know today is Giving Tuesday, mm -hmm. um, and you can register now and you can start fundraising. Um, and so we encourage everyone to go to comanflorida.org and register for the Race for the Cure, but it has something for everyone. And there's nothing more exciting than the end of the race where over a thousand survivors go up on stage, uh, those that are battling the disease, and we celebrate them and we celebrate their spirit. Um, and we hope that one day we lose no one to breast cancer. That's what we're hoping. We're getting that number of loss down to zero. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. We are excited about the expansion. We're going to keep talking with you more yep. and more about this leading up to the race for the cure. Right now, Vanessa, I'm going to send things over to you with a look at our forecast. <laughs> 